What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So you're talking about the possibility of not having Sidney Prescott or Gail Weathers involved in Scream 6. This is mostly going to be Sidney Prescott, and I'll get into why. So recently, there was an interview that came out where Tyler Gillette had expressed to someone that was interviewing him uh, what he could disclose about Scream 6. And the headline from what I was seeing was talking about how he, he was teasing the idea of Courtney and or Sydney and Gail possibly returning. But reading what was stated from them, it looks like he is trying to hint that one of them will not be involved. Now, going off of what we already know, uh, Courtney Cox has received the script. She's presumably read it. We already have something that indicates that this may be a Gale centric narrative, though that's not necessarily confirmed. So that's combined with what Nev has already told us that she would only return given that the script was something she was in agreement with and it didn't do anything that she didn't agree would be a natural progression in Sydney's life or something she just wouldn't want to see happen for Sydney from the writer's minds in this case. Something she just wouldn't be in agreement with. So when considering that, it would sound more like they're going to do a screen movie without Sydney Prescott's involvement. Now, I made that video yesterday prior to even hearing about this interview. Shout out to UK because you sent it over to me. And it does sound like what they're saying at the time of when they were disclosing that in that interview is that one of the girls will just not be involved because it was more so something, a statement along the lines of they they are important to the narrative their influence is going to be felt and they're still here even if they aren't actually here and then they said they had to stop before they got into too much because that's dangerous territory and i'll leave a link to it in the description so you can read this article but the exact wording will be in there i just don't want to go over it right now but essentially that the bit from tyler gillette has many people thinking that this means sydney prescott won't be involved the understanding that they are integral to the narrative was also made a point in his statement. He said that you can't really have a screen movie without their without their influence. That was made clear in the statement. But what was also made clear in the statement was that even if they aren't there, they're still there. Kind of sounds like, you know, one of them won't be there. So most likely that would be Sidney Prescott going off of what we know so far. Now, how many people would react to this? I already know some people are already jump into the comments before this video even airs and say, oh, no, you can't have a screen movie without Sidney. Um, I mean, we know we can. We've seen glimpses of it already with Screen 5, and it did just fine in terms of the box office. Now, does that mean that I don't think that the movie wouldn't take a massive decline at the box office if Sydney is not involved? No. But I also don't want to underestimate the power that Ghostface has as a horror icon. The character of Ghostface in and of itself, plus Gail Weathers' involvement from Courtney Cox, that would still be enough. I don't want to even undermine Gail's role in all this. Gail is still an important part of this just as much as Sydney, even though Sydney, of course, is more integral to the narrative from what we've seen in the original trilogy in the fourth movie, and now, of course, what we got from her in the fifth movie. Gail is still very much so an important final girl as well, who can easily come in, go along with the new kids, get involved, be used heavily in the marketing, and of course, many people think that means she's going to die. But they, at that, at that point, I wouldn't have Gail die. Uh, you already don't have Sydney in the movie. So don't shoot yourself in the foot by having another legacy cast member die. But even if she were to die, again, it's all about how it's done, why she's dying. Does it serve any real benefit to the narrative's progression? Or was it just done for shock value? So with this statement from tyler gillette if sydney's not involved i think the movie can still perform well of course at the box office i think you can still have a good screen movie it's just what amount of people will lose interest just off of the basis that sydney prescott isn't involved so therefore i'm not watching it you mean i mean honestly for me as a fan of this character i would love for her to have some peace I would love for her to be involved in this trilogy, but I would love mostly for her to just be at peace. She has served her purpose in this franchise. She can continue to appear in this franchise. This franchise, the heart and soul of this franchise undoubtedly is her. She is an iconic final girl, but when you're shifting the narrative away from her into Sam Carpenter, it just seems kind of unnecessary in a way to then find these lukewarm reasons to have Sidney Prescott involved just for the sake of selling your movie 
give her a reason to be involved that's why uh, that's why i was more going off of the idea in scream 7 sydney could be involved because now there's a killer targeting woodsboro survivors someone who wants to end it all they are the anti of everything we've already gotten before someone who hates stab movies someone who hates the horror genre someone who hates how hollywood exploits real life tragedies for cinema purposes someone who thinks that their loved ones and how they were affected are more important and they should be the ones getting some attention versus people who are benefiting off of others tragedies when nothing ever happens to them this would be the woodsboro survivors this could be an important way to make sydney relevant to the narrative once again you're not trying to you're not trying to dig even deeper into the marine prescott stuff you're not trying to just make up something just for the sake of saying hey the movie's about sydney again you know they were writing her out in screen four anyway Five was originally not going to be focused on her always from Kevin's idea, and we ended up getting that in, in five from a new group of writers' ideas. So seeing a Gale-centric narrative where Sydney kind of takes the back seat, sure, that's not going to be something that I'm used to in the sense that Sydney's not here at all, but I would rather you have her involved with a proper reason for her to be here other than just hey you know come see this movie sydney prescott's still here but then when i watch it she has no relevance to the plot she's just here for the sake of selling tickets she obviously will give a great performance because nev campbell's a tremendous actress but why is my favorite final girl back once more for more of this bs when she can have so much peace in her life with her husband with her children with whatever career success she's having going on but you give her a reason to get involved because gail calls her up or because you know just something weak like that gail and sydney have a bond that's growing and i love it blossoming but i don't think a phone call would be enough to convince me that sydney's gonna drop everything and just get involved once again that's why dewey's death is something that needs to be considered as to why it was so important to happen with sydney's return being involved do you think sydney prescott won't be involved in scream six do you think that tyler gillette's words mean that because that's not necessarily what they mean uh nev campbell most likely in my opinion will be involved in the movie no doubt about it but if she's not then she just isn't let me know what you guys think about those comments down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video